Salmer cruise missile, while empowering Iran's armed forces, can be an effective step to increase the defense and deterrence of the army. Military analysts say the project is based on Russian KH-55 cruise missile technology. The Iranian Minister of Defense announced that the range of the Salmer ground cruise missile is 700 kilometers. Technical specifications. Salmer is one of the most advanced cruise missiles made in Iran. The length is about 6 meters and weighs 1,210 kilograms and has a turbofan engine. The small size and ability to move at low altitudes have made it very difficult for the enemy to identify. This missile has the anti-radar capability. It also has the ability to destroy a wide range of targets and due to its high tactics, long duration on the battlefield and radar evasion, it can destroy targets in any situation. Some experts emphasize that the form and structure of this missile are similar to the Russian KH-55 missile. However, it is better equipped in construction and engine than its Russian model. Salmer missile is only similar to the Ka-55 and has a booster to fire from the sea or land. Among the other advantages of the missile are the following, the Somer rocket is fired from mobile ground launchers. The small size of the launcher and its high mobility gives it the ability to launch anywhere. Such launchers increase the system's survival and allow them to fire quickly and then leave the area at high speed. There are several reasons for this, the most important of which is the lower cost of their production process than the ballistic missiles. On the other hand, the superior components in the field of moving missiles and hitting the target. The nature of cruise missiles. A cruise missile is a crewless aerial vehicle whose route can be changed and guided until its target. Most cruise systems use a jet engine, while ballistic missiles use a rocket engine. These missiles usually travel their entire route at very low altitudes and at near constant or near supersonic speeds due to not being detected by radars. Cruise missiles are usually not as fast as ballistic ones, but they use the principle of concealment and surprise to hit the enemy most of the time. Cruise missiles usually do not have a heavy warhead and only destroy a specific point due to their high accuracy. They are usually lighter and smaller than ballistic and can be fired from various land, air, sea, and underwater platforms. Iran and successful test of new cruise missile on revolution anniversary. Iran announced the successful test of a new cruise missile with a range of over 1,350 kilometers on Saturday, coinciding with celebrations for the country's 1979 Islamic Revolution. The test of the Havaza cruise missile was carried out successfully at a range of 1,200 kilometers, 840 miles, and accurately hit the set target, Defense Minister Amir Hatami said, quoted on state television which broadcast footage of its launch. It can be ready in the shortest possible time and flies at a very low altitude, he said. Hatami described the Havazid as the long arm of the Islamic Republic of Iran in defending itself. It is part of the Salmer group of cruise missile, first unveiled in 2015 with a range of 700 kilometers, according to the minister. The Havazid unveiling was part of an arms exhibition titled 40 Years of Defensive Achievements Held in Tehran. Friday marked the beginning of 10 days of celebrations of the Islamic Revolution that ousted the pro-Western Shah. Iran has voluntarily limited the range of its missiles to 2,000 kilometers, 1,250 miles, sufficient to reach Israel and Western bases in the Middle East. But Washington and its allies have accused Tehran of pursuing enhanced missile capabilities that also threaten Europe. Iran has no intention of increasing the range of its missiles, the country's Supreme National Security Council Secretary, Admiral Ali Shamkhani, said Tuesday. Iran reigned in most of its nuclear program under a landmark 2015 deal with major powers, but has kept up development of its ballistic missile technology. <music> 
U.S. President Donald Trump's administration pulled out of the accord in May and reimposed sanctions against Iran, citing the missile program among its reasons. European governments have stuck by the accord, although some have demanded an addition to address Iran's ballistic missile program and its intervention in regional conflicts. UN Security Council Resolution 2231 adopted after the deal calls on Iran to refrain from testing missiles capable of carrying a nuclear weapon, but it does not specifically bar Tehran from missile launches. Tehran insists its missile development programs is purely defensive and compliant with the resolution.